With God, there is always more. More love, more life, more freedom. Welcome to Zoe's Exploring More with Michael Thompson. C.S. Lewis once wrote, Our Heavenly Father has provided many delightful ends for us along our journey, but He takes great care to see that we do not mistake any of them for home. Join me and the team as we explore the kingdom together, discovering the deep truths and offering encouragement for the journey. There is always more. Hey listeners, SJ here. Michael and I, along with the Zoe team, are out on mission again. And so we're bringing you some content from our conference weekends for the next few weeks. What you're about to hear is part of a session Michael led on training in warfare. Spiritual warfare is so often, as we've said on the podcast before, just not talked about. And so these teachings are very important. These episodes will be a bit more brief than they usually are, but think of them as quick hitters, bite-sized doses of what we share and teach at Zoe. We'd encourage you to take some notes and maybe write in your journal and just think about, write about how you've experienced what's being shared as Michael talks about spiritual warfare. Men, in the heart of a warrior, we put this title on the chapter, What You're Up Against. And our foe, our enemy, the kingdom of darkness that opposes our life in God is ancient. They have a few good plays that they run, but they run them with precision. They will ensure that every man sooner or later feels, experiences the lie. You don't have what it takes and you are alone. You don't have what it takes and you are alone. So as we start to taste a little bit of freedom from that, our team says, okay, it's not about winning a round or two. It's about winning the war, right? You guys have all flown on planes. You know the spiel, right? Should there be a loss of cabin pressure at any moment, oxygen masks will drop. Then what do they say? Put the oxygen mask over your nose and mouth first. Don't you know I've got kids? Don't you know my wife's here? Why is that the instruction? You are no use to anybody in your family if you are unconscious. You have to get your heart back first. You have to begin your comeback, and I believe be well on it, the healing and the training, they work together so that you can then go back and be redeployed into your own home front, your marriage, your children. And for those of you who are in my crowd, 50s, 60s, 70s, it's never too late to go back after your kids. But let's start to explore the idea of training. When we were writing The Heart of a Warrior, there was so much that started to kind of fall into these chapters and sections. And if you've read Heart of War, you know it's lined up into two major sections. The beloved son becoming the beloved. And you know this, you are, and you are becoming. You are holy, and you're learning how to be holy. It's already true, and you're being trained up in it. Are you an overcomer? It's true, and you're learning how to overcome. This is the art. This is the practice of this kingdom way. I get so excited. The first day of practice is good. It's, it's important. It's when we showed up and most of us were throwing up afterwards. But that's very different than the night of the first game. All that preparation and all that getting ready and all that getting in shape so that we could enter into what we were doing all of that for. 
okay? So there's an art, there's a practice. First section of the book is the beloved son. You have to become the beloved son because the battle and the war is always about that. Do you know who you are? Because the enemy has lied to you most of your life about who you are. And if you've believed it, well, we got to talk about that. We're going to have to remedy that. Because those old plays, they will try them again and again until you have mastery, until you've experienced mastery over them. And then it becomes, oh, you're running that play again? Not today. Dallas Willard said this, the primary work of God is finding men in whom he can entrust his power and authority. And the story of most men is being entrusted with power and bringing harm to himself and those under his care. Did you hear that? And the story of most men is being entrusted with power and bringing harm to himself and those under his care. Right? Let's not be most men. Charles Fuller, the founder of the Fuller Seminary, said, the life that we are meant for, the one granted to us by God, is both fragile and glorious. It must be understood, learned, and practiced. Practiced. There's an art to this. There's a practice. There's a learning how. Right? And we've asked this question every year. How do, how do first times go? Usually not so well. But no diminishment, no shame, no guilt. First times are, are the beginning of learning how. Learning how to do something. Training. And the battle of the war is all about loving. It's all about loving. Fierce, kind, loving hearts back to life. That's what we're trying to do for you this weekend is love you back to life. Does that mean that we're saying and encouraging you with some difficult things? Yeah. Challenging, hard things? Yeah. This love thing is not easy, but it is good. And we do not have enough men who know who they are, where they are, and the good that God's up to in their lives. We recently got a dog from some friends of ours that run an operation out in South Dakota where we do some of our Zoe outdoor stuff, the pheasant hunt. So I had my eye on this puppy that was already about six months old and she had just kind of been overlooked in the outfitters. She was one of a, a couple other litters they had and there were others who were more suited for what he was, he was up to on in the outfitter in the hunting. But this little black lab, you know, so. And I, if you know my previous dog, uh, I've told some stories about my dogs, uh, Arwen, she died last November, November before. So I went through about a year without a dog. I, I've just about stopped shaking from that now, but I'm a dog guy. So we make arrangements and the outfitter sends us Ellie. So Ellie, from the time I had left, it had been a couple months. So she shows up in a crate flown from South Dakota to our house just about in time for Christmas, right after Christmas. And now I, I, my expectations, remember expectations. So we get Ellie, we're at the, at the cargo area in the airport. And I got my two daughters with me. We're so excited to welcome Ellie to our home. And I open up this big crate and she doesn't come out. And we look in there and she's backed up against the back of her crate traumatized. So, you know, all of a sudden, okay, I, I need to take care. We get her out of there. Okay. And it's just her posture. You can tell she's, she's hurting. She's afraid. Okay. So we get her in the truck and we take her home and, and she is on the floor. If she could get under the floor, she would have done that in the truck. So we get her home. And literally for the next couple of days, I'm thinking, man, this is, this is not going well. I don't know if this is going to work. But, you know, feeding her, talking to her, petting her. I mean, when you would come at her to pet, it was almost as if 
she had not only been neglected, but somebody had put a leash on her and, and had dragged her to a couple places. I, I, it, 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 you can just tell by the way she's acting. She's not right. There was more than just a plane flight. So a couple days, more go by, feeding her, petting her, and then it happened. The tail. I come down, get her out of her crate one morning, and instead of coaxing her, she comes out in the tail. Over the next couple days, our family loves her back to life. And that's what this training is about, men. But you have to be loved back to life in order to come onto the team and into the troops who will specialize in loving people back to life. Even when they want to stay in their crate, he's in the box. Coming this fall, Join the squadrons of men who are hungry and thirsty for more of God. It's Heart of a Warrior Encounter West, October 21st to 24th, 2021, at Young Life's Trail West Lodge in Buena Vista, Colorado. This weekend conference is designed to take a man into his deep heart and facilitate intimate encounters with God. To register, go to zoe.org forward slash events. Join your allies and discover the life of more. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Exploring More. The landing page for this podcast is zoe.org forward slash podcast. That's Z-O-W-E-H dot org forward slash podcast, where you can find the show notes and various platforms to which we broadcast. You can also find us and the life of more by visiting Zoe on YouVersion Bible app, Right Now Media, our Facebook page, and Zoe on Instagram and Twitter. Remember, with God there is always more, and you were made for more.